Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our variable cam control we're gonna be working with in our GM Gen 4 ECMs. So whether we have an L92 engine or an L99 engine, we're gonna find we have the variable cam feature that GM has built into the motor. And they're used to gain fuel economy and to gain some more additional power on the top end. What's unique about the variable cam control is that at normal rest position, it's gonna be at full advanced. And then as we go up in higher RPM, we're gonna be retarding the cam. So it's gonna be a little bit different than other variable cam control you might be used to working with. I'm gonna be covering all the details you need to know in order to properly program the fuel and spark timing as well as our variable cam timing table in these applications. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our variable cam control in our GM Gen 4 ECMs. So let's jump in here to our engine tab. We'll go move across here from general into airflow. And then we're gonna go from our sub tabs here under general and then move across here into the variable cam tab. Now this is gonna be where we do our programming and setup and control with our variable cam control feature. This is relatively straightforward to work with, but we need to understand how it's going to actually work and interface in our tables. It is gonna be a little bit different than other variable cam equipped engines. So let's jump in here to general, let's go through our general settings and then go here and talk about our actual programming that we're gonna be doing. Um, one thing I wanna note is that we're only gonna be working with our intake camshaft column right here. The exhaust camshaft is not gonna be utilized, um, so GM is gonna be referencing everything here in just this singular column of values that's gonna be associated with their variable cam control on an LS engine, so the L92 and L99 engines. So let's jump in here to general, we're gonna find camshaft specified here under one. We'll also find we can set it to none, two or four in this case, we only have one cam on an LS engine, so we'll set it to one. Now our idle values and idle enable, we can see these are set to disabled. We can see the idle desired angle right here. This is gonna be specifying what we want our variable cam to target at idle. Now we have to turn these, both these features on here to enable if we wanna have um, it targeting something at idle position. I don't normally use this. There's gonna be really no reason that you would. So make sure that you set these to disabled and that you have this set at zero. Now the use oil pressure, we can see it's set to enabled. Um, we wanna keep this enabled, it is oil pressure based system. So um, it's going to utilize the oil pressure to rotate the cam movement. Um, we'll find that the park position is gonna aut automatically be full advanced. And then as it applies oil pressure and moves the cam, it's actually gonna be retarding the cam. So we're gonna talk about that when we get into our desire angle table here. It's a little bit different than other variable cam equipped engines. Now we find here next, a low barrel threshold, medium barrel threshold, high barrel threshold. So we can see here uh, 94 kPa and higher in barrel pressure. We'll find that it's gonna be on the high table. So if you're at sea level, you're going to be at approximately 100 kPa. As we go up in elevation, our barrel pressure will start to drop. So medium barrel threshold here, it's gonna be 84 kPa to 94 kPa. It's gonna be referencing the uh, target angle here from the medium table. And then between 84 to 75 kPa, it's gonna be on the low table. So depending on our elevation we're operating at, it will be transitioning to the table here or interpolating between the tables. Generally speaking, if we're a thousand feet and less in elevation, we're gonna be referencing our high barrel threshold table specified right here by our high barrel threshold uh, mount. Uh, jumping next into our cold start, we'll find enable delay here of four seconds. This isn't- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.